Hi, welcome to the series. If you want to master Android apps and games development, click subscribe and the bell icon. And let's do this together. Open Android Studio and let's create the database adapter class. For managing all the operations related to database, a helper class has been provided by Android and it is called SQLite Open Helper. It takes care of opening the database if it exists, creating it if it doesn't exist and upgrading it as necessary. So inside database adapter, we will create a static inner class that extends SQLite Open Helper. Click SQLite Open Helper, press Alt Enter and implement the methods. Define some private, static, final, string variables to store information related to the database. Database name must be unique within an app, not across all the apps. Define the constructor. You need to call super and pass the required parameters. Store the context received from constructor into this class's context variable. Since we are using a pre created database file, Copy to the right location, we don't need to write any code inside on create or on upgrade. In database adapter, declare a database helper object reference. Declare a SQLite database object reference. SQLite database class has methods to create, delete, execute SQL commands and perform other common database management tasks. Define an array list of term object. What is a term class? I will create this class to contain and model the information and make it more easy to implement. Let's do that. Since we will be passing term objects with intent, it's a good idea to make the term class serializable. Declare the member variables. Generate the constructor and choose all the member variables to initialize by the constructor. Generate getter methods for all the member variables. Next, define the constructor for database adapter. Instantiate helper by calling the database helper constructor and passing context as parameter. Call getWritableDatabase method on helper. This is going to give you an object of SQLite database. Store that in DB. Now, this SQLite database object DB is going to represent the database you have and you are going to use that object to perform the different queries that you want to do. For example, insert, update or delete from database. Define a method to close the database. Next, define a method that returns an array list of specific term objects where the term starts with the string in parameter. 
call query method on db and store the return cursor. The plain SQL statement for this can be Use a while loop to traverse through the database and populate the array list of term objects. Directly using index numbers inside getInt or getString methods are not a good practice because if the columns get changed or something inside your main database gets changed, you don't want to be dependent on the index because it may change. That's why we are getting the column index first by column name and then use that index to get database value using getInt or getString. Do the same to get values from other two columns. Now create a term object from this record or row. Add the term object to terms list. Finally return terms list. So to recap, in this video we have created the database adapter class and an inner class called database helper that extends SQLite Open Helper. We have also defined a method that returns an array list of specific term objects where the term starts with the string in parameter. Next, we will create the adapter for RecyclerView. See you there.